this object overview panel coming across uh, allows me to view the obstacles that are in my drawing by letting me click on them and it will highlight their location. So there's a number of elements in here for the wooded view. So if we come down to the other numbered obstacles, if we'd like to know their location, we can left click on them in the object overview. And if we zoom in on any of these obstacles on screen and we right click on them, we can get a menu that lets us get back to their properties, lets me disable them from evaluation, lets me hide the 3D object or hide their hatch, which were also settings we saw back under the general settings command. This would be a global on or off when we were setting it before creation. This would be for individual objects. So if I went for the properties of the object, then it would tell me what its name is, what its X and Y values are, and what its elevation was, and whether or not its status was known or guessed. Because this was an import data set, we're saying these are all known obstacles to begin with. We're obviously getting some survey commission to gather the data for us. Um, but if we weren't sure on the obstacle, we could certainly update its status, changing it to be a guest obstacle. And now it is uniquely identified as a red obstacle for testing against the remainder. Similarly, in the uh, overview, if we had one or more runways, I'm going to get back to a zoom extents here. Any runways that I have, again, they are a defined sky safe object. They can be highlighted to show where they are. And by right clicking on a runway to get the runway properties, we can pull it back up and go into an editing state. So during time, if we find that because of some construction, we need to move our display threshold, or if we're testing some variations of where we would move it to and how it affects the airspace, we could certainly go through and we have full control to redefine the runway and its parameters. One other thing to recognize when we are uh, selecting a, um, a surface to build that we'll see in a second is that there is some right click options in here that let us not only uh, in, in this dialogue, we can set up the parameters for the runways at either end, but when we build the surfaces under the create surface, we can uniquely look at 02 and 20 from each other for operations. It's not a consistent operation at either runway end. 